comedian of radio and stage, Suzette Terry. I'm a spinster, but not of the miserable type. I'm as happy as flies among honey. I've worked pretty hard this way and that, and I've saved up a nice bit of money. My bottom drawer's full, you know, two of each. And pure wool, the mobs call it their cosy corner. But till I find a man who is worthy of me, I'm remaining just plain Winnie Walner. Now I've taken up golf because that's all the go. They said when you join, bring your caddy. So I empties the tea out and I takes it along. And I says to the man, I'm here laddie. He says, got a mashy? I said, no, I'm free. And I'm thirsting for love, you can see. Then he says, brought your iron. And I knew it at once. He was after me money, not me. He didn't get me bending, no, not likely. Do you know, while I was standing there, I took the trouble to pick up a golf ball and walk across a long field and give it to the man he belonged to, and he swore at me. Swore at me till I told him, of course, he'd been and he'd lost it. Do you know, I just saved it from going down a little hole in the ground. But I must tell you about the boy I'm walking out with now, Bertie's name is. Very funny thing how we come to meet. We were both strolling along the same street at the same time when we collided. So he said, I beg your pardon. I said, granted, as soon as asked. And then we got into conversation. And you know how one thing leads to another, if you're lucky. So he said, what about a little refreshment? I said, I'm all for it. So we did. Well, Bert had a nice meal. I had some food myself. I just had enough left for me bus fare home. So he says, what about a stroll? I said, right, I'll try anything once. And so we did. And we went up a very long street. And I couldn't help noticing that Bert kept crossing over from one side of the road to the other. Do you know he went over and over 842 times? <laughs> but he had to bar flag at last. <laughs> then he proposed to me. Asked me to marry him, but I didn't give him an answer. You know, our spinster's got to be so careful. Never know whether it's us that after or our handbag. Only one day last week I went up to my room and found a man there. A man in my room. Well, you know, I'm not a narrow-minded spinster, and I didn't want to be hard on him, so I said, now, look here, I'll give you 24 hours to get out. He looked at me, said, a minute will do. Well, I don't know. Do you know, I've got so used to my own habits. So till I find a man who is worthy of me, I'm remaining just plain Winnie Warner.